powered our souls of Putnam County, Georgia, said the truck stolen in Georgia was abandoned in Moore County, Tennessee, about 75 miles southeast of Nashville. Somewhere near there, the escapees stole another car, which they abandoned about 15 miles north in Bedford County, Tennessee, near Shelbyville, he said. About 2.30 p.m. Thursday, Mr. Rowe and Mr. Dubose then invaded the home of an elderly couple, Sheriff Austin Swing of Bedford County said. They held the couple at gunpoint, tied them up and remained in the home until about 5.30 p.m., Sheriff Swing said. They wrestled with the man and got control of him and threatened both of them's lips, he said. They put the guns to both of them's heads and threatened to kill them if they resisted. The escapees tied the man up with a belt and put socks on his hands so that he could not use his fingers, the sheriff said. They then ate beef stew the woman had made and stole the man's boots, watches and other valuables before leaving the home in a jeep, the sheriff said. The couple were eventually able to report the crime shortly after their captors left, he added. The couple were extremely traumatized, Sheriff Swing said. At one point, the escapees told the couple to make up a false story about what had happened and threatened that they would be back if they didn't, he added. The man also told the couple that they were escaped inmates from Georgia and that they believed they would be dead within 24 hours, the sheriff said. Shortly afterward, a chase ensued, Sheriff Sills said. They wrecked the car somewhere on the interstate and got out and fled into the woods, he said. It'd say 15 or 20 minutes later, they came out with their hands up, is what we were told, and surrendered. Shots were fired during the exchange, but no one was harmed, Sheriff Sills said. Word of the arrests came as the families of the corrections officers, Christopher Monica, 42, and Curtis Billu, 58, were planning their funerals. Each had served the department for several years. Earlier Thursday, a